What are some of the health benefits and risks associated with raw milk? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is New Jersey Assemblyman Nelson Albano. Thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome. Before we get into some recent hearings uh, that you had as chair of the Agriculture and Natural Resources Committee, talk to us a little bit about raw milk. What does that actually mean from a consumer perspective? Well, as soon as I got in as chairman, um, I started getting emails and letters and some pro-groups that are in support of repealing the ban on raw milk. And I really didn't know that much about it, so I figured before we start moving legislation, let's educate the committee about the advantages and disadvantages of raw milk. And we were just amazed by the testimony that was given to us. So raw milk basically means that the milk is taken directly from the animal, in this case it would be a cow, and it's not pasteurized, is that correct? Correct. The milk would come right from the cow, the consumer would pick up that milk the same day as it's actually pumped out of the cow. It would never make its trip to any um, to any dairy place where they pasteurize the milk. It's raw milk right from the cow. Okay, so when we talk about raw milk, at this point, there is currently a ban on it in New Jersey. What is the purpose of the ban? Is it to protect people's health? I think back in the um, 30s or 40s when they started pasteurizing milk, they actually put a ban on it because of some of the health risks that were involved in that. Pasteurization started back then to give milk an, an extra long shelf life. And now you, you can see milk, you can refrigerate it sometimes up to two weeks in a refrigerator. And I think that was the purpose of the pasteurization process. So they put a ban on anyone selling raw milk. Well, people have been drinking raw milk for thousands of years. We had people come in, gave us testimony, been drinking raw milk for 70, 80 years, and just they, they can't believe the benefits that they receive from drinking. All right, let's talk about those benefits. What do people, do, I mean, these are anecdotal uh, benefits. They're not necessarily backed up by scientific research, but what are people actually telling you about what they feel are the benefits of raw milk in their own lives and their own health? Well, we've had, uh, we had different families come in and testify. We were amazed by the people that showed up to testify. They had children. Some of them had, um, very, very bad allergies. And they read about the advantages of drinking raw milk dealing with allergies. They put their children on raw milk and the allergies just just vanished. Um, some of their pediatricians said that a lot of people get great results from drinking raw milk. Um, some pediatricians are for it, some aren't. And that's where we try to level out. Where is the support? Where are the pros and the cons against drinking raw milk? And that day we had the hearing, the, the pros were like um, 20 to 1 compared to the cons. When we talk about raw milk, it is currently banned in this state. So how are people actually getting this product? They're crossing over into Pennsylvania. Uh, most of the people that we talked about go to Pennsylvania to get the milk. They'll drive about an hour into Pennsylvania, purchase the milk, and bring it back here. There was one gentleman that purchased for himself, his wife, and his family up to 10 gallons a week. And what he would do is refrigerate it on the way back. He would freeze and then use the milk as needed. So now that you've heard from a community that really believes in benefits of raw milk, what are some of the next steps for the committee in terms of seeing parts of the other side of, of this story, including uh, testimony from the scientific community? Well, the, the purpose of the hearing was to educate the committee, as myself as chairman knew very little about raw milk. And we heard all the pros, the benefits, and everything else. Now we have to hear what are the risks involved. And now we have to hear from the dairy companies, we have to hear from the scientists, we have to hear from Rutgers, the Farm Bureau, everybody, to at, see what the benefits are and, and the negative side of it. If there's going to be a health, health risk, people drinking raw milk, then we have to make real, real hard decisions on whether we're going to put such legislation through. We just have a few seconds left, but legislation uh, is, has been written, actually. You haven't necessarily posted it yet. Is it something you would consider after hearing the rest of the testimony? Once we hear all the testimony, uh, it would be uh, my decision whether I would post the bill or not, and I would have to see what the benefits are and what the negative things are. If we're going to put people at a health risk, then we'll have to really make serious decisions whether to put it through or not. Please come back and give us an update. We will. Thank, Thank you. you. We've been talking with Assemblyman Nelson Albano. I'm Jill Horner.